Previously on The Evil Within. Oh no. Fire seems to work. This looks like some kind of arena. I wonder if I can hit her with a torch. I ran out of stamina. Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to The Evil Within. This is episode 7, and hopefully this time I won't have as much trouble with uh, the game as I did with that boss last time. I'm not so sure that it's not the last time we'll see her, but maybe it was. We've had this dream before. Has something startled you? Did they do something to my head? You don't look well. You should take better care of yourself. Well, thanks, nurse. Alright, so apparently not only are these boxes not numbered or anything, but their contents are actually random every time. So there's no way to know what you're gonna get. Five thousand. Weird that it didn't just take all of them. I wonder if explosive bolts would have counted for that fight. Probably not, since they don't really seem to set enemies on fire. Okay, no new papers. No new missing persons reports. Hmm. I guess I don't actually know how to leave right now since neither of the mirrors seem to be illuminated. So let's spend our juice. Oh, I guess this thing really does just stab a bunch of needles into your head, right as it locks into place. Six thousand for damage. What? Oh. My bad, I right clicked. What do I want to upgrade? Maybe stock? Get a bit more shotgun ammo. Since that also seems to be something I can't quite carry enough of. Oh, did it again. 
I keep trying to right click to back out of the current tab I'm on, but you know, obviously you just have to go left and right. Uh, let's see. So stock. Let's upgrade the harpoon bolts since they seem like the one I'll probably end up using the most. And maybe our stamina. After the trouble that gave me last time. Uh, let's go with damage on the revolver too. And shotgun critical. Alright, should be good. If I'm going for headshots with the shotgun anyway, I might as well get the critical ability. Okay, so can we get out this mirror or do we have to investigate something? Nope, no going out that way. You have anything to say, Margaret? She seems like a Margaret. Sort of secretary of an alternate dimension. church with the eye on top, the one we've been seeing scrawled onto stuff. For a second there, I couldn't turn on my lantern. What was that sound? some squishing. Oh, it's just these guys. Well, there wasn't stairs here before, or a door. I was wondering when we might see not Pyramid Head. Safe Head, I guess we can call him. Though I think he's actually just called the Executioner, considering he has a DLC about him called the Executioner. What? Did I just do the door opening, but not actually open the door? Well, that's weird.
Someone's even having a good time in there or a very bad time. Oh, it's you, Leslie. I don't know why I couldn't remember his name last time. Leslie? He's putting out those mind-altering waves. Sebastian? 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 Are you the one turning Joseph into a monster? Unintentionally. And now we're somewhere else. Okay, I guess we've progressed from the beacon-themed areas to presumably church-themed areas now based on what's going on. So maybe we all have a different monster now than the blood monster? Who I know has a name, but they never actually said it, so... I'm not sure what it is. Sure, I'll take that harpoon. It's very purple in here. Also, surprisingly, daylight. Probably won't last, but it's a nice break. The lighting in this game is definitely very harsh, though. But I'm pretty sure I read that that's intentional. Same place as the photographs. Is that the same church in the photograph across there? Because you can see. Well, that might just be a regular cross, but it looks like the eye thing might be up there, too. Well, it's nice to have a change of scenery. Though I kind of knew that was a thing in this. That we'd be kind of hopping around into different areas. Which, you know, I really like, for example, the way Resident Evil 4 has three kind of very distinct areas. I mean, obviously, there's similarities in design and stuff. Can I drop these? I can shoot them. You know, you've got the village, very brown, a lot of dirt, a lot of wood. Then you get to the castle, a lot of gloomy stone and whatnot. And then you get to the island, and there's a lot of kind of industrial grime. So three different kinds of depressing horror settings. Actually, I can't think of a lot of horror movies set in a castle. I mean, you know, aside from your Dracula and its various vampire descendants. As well as, I guess, kind of Frankenstein-based movies. But not a lot of just, like, we're stuck in this castle with a killer. Or even, like, a, a movie about a monastery where some sort of creature is stalking the halls. I guess our partners might be here as well. Well, partner and junior detective. Are you all right? My head wouldn't stop buzzing. It felt like it was about to crack open. But now it's like I'm starting to get used to it. You seen Kidman? No. Next thing I knew, I was here. I must have blacked out, or... Maybe I turned again. For a moment, I was wondering if he turned and Kidman shot him. Inside. Let's go. Oh, he's got a Molotov. I'm 
another one? That's a lot of fellas. Get that thing open. I'm working on it. Just give me a little time. Alright, so we just gotta defend him. Much longer. Another moment. I don't know. Just we got a decent covered. amount of ammo left. Not a lot of pistol bullets, though. And I still have these barrels. What was that roll? <laughs> Is that me putting myself out? Alright, got a wall of fire. Let's dart up. Full up on frost bolts. There was probably more goo up there I could have grabbed from that burn pile I made, but. Okay, we're doing this again. I, like, stuck my shotgun through her and hit the guy behind her. I like that they can't hit him because he's crouching for the last one. Sebastian, let's go. Looks like we're out. Hold on. Ugh. Problem is, when I'm wounded, I can't even sprint at all. That was a stupid thing to do. Please help me. <laughs> Let's rest for a minute. We can't keep going at this pace. I... I think we've got to get out of this place as fast as we can. Well, you probably do. What about the tower there? We might be able to get a lay of the land. Anything's got to be better than staying here. Let's take a break right next to this door that they're all behind and hope that they don't have a way through it, like a chainsaw. Am 
Am I picking up like two at a time now? Ooh. Now that's a wrap. Pretty much the same thing that the sniper in that one level was using. So, we're at the problem here where we can't actually equip more than four weapons. So I don't know what to get rid of right now. I guess we'll get rid of the grenades for now. I mean, I can switch pretty quickly. Oh, man. <laughs> so, the bars come back when you're scoped in and cut off the top and bottom. That's funny. Same reason that all the cutscenes are so letterboxed. I needed here. <sighs> no news. No, oh, I don't even have much to spend. I don't know why I came in. I bet I missed a key somewhere in that fight. Let's be careful. It could be full of them. Okay, he's got a mask. Sniper penetrates the mask. Good to know. I was hoping that if I punched him, I might be able to break the mask. Kind of like the RE6 ones. So I guess we'll stick to high damage for those guys instead of trying to plink him with a pistol. You just hanging out, Joseph? I can probably stealth around here since they don't immediately know where I am. And I guess this guy didn't hear me kick open the door. Get to cover. They're shooting from above. Ah. Bolt throwers. And then we saw those trap. Yeah, they've got like a <laughs> bolt Gatling gun. Okay, I gotta watch out for these bomb traps. Stand a chance if we don't take out those other guns. There's plenty of ammo, it looks like, around here, though. Mm. Alright, bye. Oh, there's a lot of guys coming. <laughs> Joseph just sprinted at him with the axe. <laughs> now you got him, pal. What does this do? Power is those. Whatever those do. Don't worry, I see that bomb over there. I'm just kind of avoiding it. I will ammo 
Oh, just got ejected. I will take this health syringe and use it. Still got tagged. Okay, let's get rid of this. Are you all right? I double tapped when I opened it. Like, I wasn't even trying to hit it there. I just <laughs> hit the space bar twice. Above. All right, I think we're not all the way back. We'll have to take it all out before we can get in. Or maybe I am. I don't have any more torch or matches. Out of ammo. There's a lot of those around. Drop that so I don't waste it. <laughs> now where did Joseph go? I don't even think I should bother disarming those. Just use one bullet. It's not like I'm constantly crafting bolts that I need more trap parts. And that's just a pit, so I don't want to go down there. Never was great at broad daylight stealth in MGS5. Oh, there you are. That wasn't very silent, but I guess they can't hear me over the music. So a nice big jar over there. Hmm. Not sure I can sneak up on these guys. Unless they split up. He's definitely going to see me, but if he does, I'm just... Oh, alright. Joseph's got it. Thanks, buddy. Ow. I mean, he doesn't have to worry about his breaking, so... I kinda wanna let him do all the hits.
We won't stand a chance if we don't take out those other guns. And then it blew up. Are you alright? Am I? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I am not actually anything like alright. I think that health will regenerate up to that red line. Just don't know how long it takes. Are you alright? Uh, it's starting. I just want to give it a sec before I do anything. Since I don't really want to do all of that again. like a cultist, but of course he's just a priest. Okay, I think the enemies might just keep coming if I don't get over here and start picking off the other right? turrets. Apparently I missed. Also that bolt was very close. Joseph, please protect me. I don't know how that didn't go out. Oh man, I'm in a really bad spot. You okay? Oh, Jesus. And there's a bomb there. How come it doesn't go off when they get close to it? I mean, they can set off other traps. Why can't they set off the bombs? Okay, I guess we dealt with all those guys at once. So let's take out this turret. Come on. I just gotta figure out where the last one is. Probably right there. Nothing should stand in the way of getting the power now. Except these guys. Hey, look, it's that guy again. I 
I kind of want to just go and pick up the ammo and stuff now. And hopefully not explode. But I might have already got everything. Nothing should stand in the way of getting to the tower now. Oh, I didn't get that big jar. Just grab that before we go. Triple kill match. I was gonna say, why would I want to open these if there's just enemies in here, but there's also some boxes. And some health, which I never don't need. Because you take a lot of damage if you get hit by anything. Nothing should stand in the way of getting to the tower now. Okay, I can only open one at a time. Hopefully there wasn't something better in the other one. Kind of looking around to see if I can spot any statues. Because I'm pretty sure they're hidden in the environment fairly well in some places. I mean, they always have to be somewhere you can actually reach the key. But I assume some of them will just drop the key down when you, like, shoot them. Alright, let's get to that tower. Nothing should stand in the way of getting to the tower now. And another chainsaw fella. I mean, the last one wasn't too hard. The last one was also stunned by my shotgun. <laughs> to work with here. I got bolts. I got my sniper rifle still. You know, point blank like that is always how I prefer to use the sniper rifles in Resident Evil. Let's be careful. It could be full of them. Kind of hard to miss when they're that close. You just have to know when to time your shots. I actually would have done that sooner, but I forgot I had the rifle. The elevator is stopped at the top. Let's look for another way up. Yes, let's look for another way up. Where could it possibly be? This is what the holdup was. So, there's a first mention of his daughter being born. Of course, the daughter being a central 
kind of focus of the second game, which is, I don't think, really a spoiler. Something bad happened to her. Again, I'm not sure if I should end the episode here, or if we're near the end of the chapter. I feel like usually if there's a mirror, it means we're not that close to the end of the chapter. Now we don't have any keys. I believe specifically the thing you get, or one of the things you get for getting all the map fragments is a better sniper rifle. I could be wrong though. I got a new paper. And then his wife went missing, which is not surprising, because we knew that was going to happen at some point. Also, you notice how the the sniper rifle has like a brightness thing on the scope? I guess we'll push on because it looks like it hasn't been too long since we started. And yes, I do actually have to look at the save timers to <laughs> realize how long I've been recording. Look at that weird slice of hair on top. I can't see it now, they're not moving. I could have spent my upgrades. In fact, that's the reason I went into the mirror and then I forgot. Okay, so... Just need to make it to the tower. Well... Do you think Kidman is okay? I don't like that they used her as bait. Almost like someone's toying with us. Hang in there. Just a little further. How's your brain doing? <sighs> okay, something's gonna happen because we can't sprint here. There are only two. We can take them. No, that's not... You are not a very good detective, Joseph. You okay? I'm fine. No need to worry. Do I need to jump this gap? Okay, good. Okay. Don't fall off, please. Should have just let them. Huh? And the hell? It's just a matter of time. It's 
better this way. What the fuck? Not done yet. Cover me. Let's go. Is it another door? Nope. We gotta cover him with a crank. Okay, not a lot of places to go here. Oh. Throwing shit at me. Wow. That's some accuracy I got going on there. Asshole for him, dynamite. Someone still sees me. First aid? Joseph, I mean, are you all right? I, I <laughs> have some good timing on that first aid. Yeah. Here, I'll think good thoughts at you. <laughs> That's one way to hit with a crossbow. Probably not so great for the crossbow. This looks like some kind of a marketplace. It looks deserted, just like everywhere else. We ought to keep moving. Probably should have ended it when I was thinking of doing it, but if we find a mirror around here, we'll call it. Hey, a medkit. Temporary side effects. So they heal you and then give you a little bit extra full health. Should I use that now? Yeah, definitely not something you want to use in a fight. What is that? It's like a kettle cart. And... What a surprise, everything here has the beacon label on it. Father was a stern man, proud, and I thought intelligent. But he was also pious, a believer. Somehow he always supported the church no matter what the newspaper said. 
He waved away the allegations as if they were infallible. The wretched, the vermin, the stern, all were taken in by that church. They were promised salvation and eternal life. But there's nothing they could promise that I couldn't take away. So that's Ruvik for sure now. And I guess that explains why we're in a church area now. The kind of tools you expect to find at a butcher cart. A big old cleaver and a sledgehammer. Well, that's one way to tenderize meat. Pretty sure that gate over there was a dead end. Can we get in this building? No. At least not from this side. That's just a little corner there. Guess we'll investigate the door so that we'll know where to go next. Keep trying to reload this, and you really don't need to. Where do you suppose we are? More like when? This architecture seems straight out of the Middle Ages. Yeah, but there's electricity. Elevators. This place can't be real. It's like jumbled up memories. I like that only now is Sebastian addressing that maybe this place isn't real. You know, forget the fact that he keeps appearing somewhere else and, you know, disappearing doors, falling through sideways hallways. This medieval architecture with electricity is just the last straw. Shit. Let's hide out in here for a minute. Is this what it was like, Seb? After the accident? Well, I never put a gun to my head. No, of course not. Just quietly sank into a bottle. We can't all be perfect. It never affected my work. But hey, you read the IA report. You know I didn't report you because I was worried about your work, Sebastian. <sighs> what else is there? We don't have time for this. I need my partner here. I'm counting on you. Alright, we're gonna head into the mirror and save here. Find something? Maybe. It's all symbols. Some 
kind of cult. Could be useful. I think I'm okay. We should probably get going. So we'll save here and I'll try to remember to do my upgrades next time. So that'll do it for episode 7 of The Evil Within. Next time we will continue our little uh, castle adventure with Joseph. But until then, take care everyone.